Northwestern is one of the better defensive teams in the conference. They lead the Big Ten in blocks like you brought up earlier. It's going to be a war. Gabby Marshall, talk about her shooting slump. She said her and Peyton Sanford, uh, Iowa men's basketball player, had talked and discussed since both of them were going through some shooting slumps. Well, he really figured it out against uh, Rutgers. Let's see if Marshall can do the same. Monica Sonano wins the tip. Gabby Marshall for three. Misses. Rebound. Kate Martin was out of bounds as she tried to throw it back. Kayla Rainey brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. Dribble handoff. Again, this is kind of the place where they've struggled just a little bit. Pull-up jumper off the glass. Offensive rebound, though. Kick back. That goes to McWilliams. Tries to muscle her way up. Misses. And Sonano and Clark battle each other and knock it away. She just had to stay up strong and tall. McWilliams 5'11", Sonano 6'3". We saw that play right there. McWilliams did have a career-high 10 in her last game against Indiana. 72-50 to 50 win for the Hoosiers. Takes it inside, misses. Another offensive rebound by Rainey. Pops the three. There it is. Long three is good from Walsh. Now Walsh is going to be the key to this game. She is one of the best players in the conference or on this team. She averages 12 points per game. She can really shoot it though, despite being six foot three. You know she is a stretch four, very hard to guard, and it'll be interesting how the Hawkeyes have to deal with that. She's fifth in the Big Ten in blocks, but one of the things she's had a hard time with this year's fouls. Three goes up from Warnock, misses. Kate Martin with the offensive rebound. Gets it out to Clark. Back into Sonano. Out to Martin for three. Got it. Monica Sonano with the assist. Kate Martin with the baseline three. Big against this defense. The Blizzard defense throws a lot at you, but if you can move the ball quick, you can get a lot of open looks. And despite Northwestern playing really good defense, they do give up about seven made threes per game in Big Ten contests. Mott, good move on the inside. Sloppy inbounds pass stolen by Rainey. Three goes up. That's Wood. Got it. Five quick points for the Wildcats. It's eight to three. Martin pushes it up the floor. Sonano wide open. Couldn't get it to her. Great start for the Wildcats. Wood hitting a three. She's the team leader in three-point percentage. Super pass there from Clark inside to Sonano. She scores. So it'll be interesting to see kind of which, which number or which wins here. Another pull up there off the back rim. Clark with the rebound. She's on the push. Stolen away. Wood with the steal. Sonano, good defense. Clark can't quite get the steal there. Dribble drive, kicks it out. Wildcats will reset. Wood travels. But if she gets going offensively, that's when this game can get a little dangerous. Marshall again from three. Better luck that time. Rims out. Sonano can't get it. Warnock does. Martin, dribble drive, left hand. Good bounce to Sonano, turns, comes back to the left. She's fouled. She's really struggled shooting the ball this year. Sonano gets the first. They're going to need her tonight. Sonano pulls the Hawks within one. More communication needs to happen for the Hawkeyes and have some eyes in the back of your head. He can't be getting picked in those transitions. Well, we talked about for a team that's going to struggle to score points, you don't want to give them freebies. Three-pointer again goes off the rim, but another offensive rebound. McWilliams kicks it out. Wood. Just a two-pointer, though, on the line. Molly Davis checks in, the transfer from Central Michigan. Just confirmed she's coming back next year. Courtney Shaw also checked in for the Wildcats. Warnock swings it to Martin. Inside, low block. Good dump inside. Sonato can't handle it. Clark, long three. Got it. Tied at 10 on the Clark three ball. Wood thought about the three, kicks it across. Long three again. Brown kicks it over. Rainey will finally take it. That goes off. Hawks battle for the rebound again and just give it up, but Shaw hits the underside of the backboard. Martin has Warnock. Great pass. Northwestern, you can see on the defensive end, they have everybody in the paint ready to get those rebounds. Hawkeyes only had Sonano down low, making it really easy for it to be a one-and-done possession for Iowa. Lob pass goes in. Wasn't, wasn't the greatest one, but worked out. Brown, long three. Off the glass. Warnock with the rebound. Goes to Clark. Dribble drive. Shakes off the defender. Comes back to the right hand and scores the layup. One of the taller point guards in the country. And she uses it to her advantage right there. The smaller Rainey on her. She just hit her with a nice pivot step. An easy layup after that. McWilliams drives baseline on Clark. Pushes off and gets the bucket. 
Northwestern had everybody back, though, for a good offensive rebounding team. They do get a lot of players back behind the ball. Clark lobs it into Sonano. Great position. Assist Clark, bucket Sonano. Hawks back by four, 16 to 12. One thing that this Northwestern defense does struggle with is getting sealed off in the paint. If you watch that Indiana game, that happened so many times. Definitely on off-ball screens that gets a post player coming on the block. That really is a weakness for Northwestern. Long jumper, McWilliams scores. No stoppage in play. A lot of clean basketball right now. Davis over to Warnock. Dribble drive, middle of the paint, back out to Davis. Three-pointer coming. Off the rim, Martin chases it down the offensive board. Little short pull-up, long. Rebound goes to Shaw. Under two to go, 16-14, Iowa on top. Martin tries to get around the screen. Brown gets all the way into the paint, lifts it up and scores. Tied at 16. Northwestern is right where they want to be right now, playing good defense and finding the offense on the other end. Warnock back to Davis. Gives it to Clark. Long three again. Got that one. An absolutely incredible feat there. They were tied up for a little bit. We knew she was going to break it in this one. Did it with a old-fashioned Caitlin Clark three. Clark with good defense there. Swat that away. Martin looks for three. Clark feeling it. Passed one of the ball back. Got it. She is gassed, though. <laughs> you can see it. Both teams right now just won some kind of a break. Running some good offense, though, here at Northwestern. Good take there. Clark gets the loose ball. Hawks will slow it down and hold for one. We will not get the media break. Who needs it? Uh, ten players on the floor. <laughs> Clark dribbling out front. I love to see these situations for the Hawkeyes. You know Bluter has an incredible play called ready. Hawkeyes likely going to get an open look or turn it over. Well, actually, if she'd have stuck with it, she might have had a chance. But, yeah, I think that's the, the tired there as the Hawks turn it over on the pass. Hawks with a nice 6-0 run there in the last minute 22 of the first quarter to pull ahead 22 to 16. It's just consistency, right? It's just good old-fashioned, do the work every single day. Days you don't feel like doing it, you show up and you do it. And when you do that every day for a long period of time, you wind up having uh, a success that goes on for, you know, quite a few years. And Kobe, we know you won an Academy Award in 2018. What have you been up to these days? Well, you know, we have a, uh, a fantasy novel coming out, March 19th, actually, that's based around basketball and magic, and uh, it's called the Rona B. Wizard series. So that, that's coming out this month. How much do you miss playing? You know, it's funny. I, I, I don't, it, which is weird. Like, if you would have asked me that years ago, I would have said that's impossible to have that feeling, but I don't. You know, I watch the game through my daughter's eyes. I, you know, see her play every single day, and, uh, you know, I'm busy building a studio, so I'm happy.